So I'm sitting at my computer desk on Friday, April 5th, 2024. It is 10:19 a.m. and the world began to shake. The desk began to shake. My colleague Nick looked at me, I looked at Nick and we were shaking. We said, "What is that?" And Nick looked at me and said, "I think we're having an earthquake." That's right. Dr. E is with us. It's a Monday. And guess what? The Hudson Valley experienced pieces of that earthquake shocker that happened in the Northeast. We are starting Half Faith Let It Begin right now. Half Faith Let It Begin. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel. Can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Noah! Happy birthday, Noah! Happy birthday, Noah! Happy birthday, Noah! Happy birthday, Noah! This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it say. Let it say. Yeah. Good morning. You listening to Half Faith Let Again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith, Let It Begin. What way to bring back Dr. E than to talk about the one thing that he didn't even feel? Dr. E, the earthquake, what happened? So, Angel, I'm in work today, and all of a sudden, everybody is running around like chickens without heads. My phone is exploding. All these texts are popping up, and they were saying, wow, did you feel that? Did you feel that? And I go, feel what? I am the only person in the entire Northeast who didn't feel this 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 earthquake. I honestly had no idea it was happening. I, I don't understand. I we, we're gonna have to I don't get it because it clearly, clearly, I felt it. I mean, it was shaking. It was 20 seconds. We factored 20 seconds of just it, you know what it felt like? Um, it felt like um if you're sitting in a home and you know they're doing like have you ever been in your home when they're doing your roof and you could hear all the, the, the cranking and the clattering and, or when somebody's drilling and it just felt like I felt it was, it was not like it started out with a high tremor. It faded in to a high tremor and faded out kind of like, you know, like music faded in with bass and faded out. Well, since you, let me ask you a question. Cause and I'll tell you a little funny story after I asked this question. So while this is happening, did you have any fear? Yes. I, you know what it was? It wasn't fear of, of anything that was going to happen to me. It was the fear of the unknown because it was clearly something I've obviously have never experienced and I've never felt. And because everything around me was shaking, the only time I can even come close to saying what that felt like is if I was on a, um, on a, on a ride you know, on 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 an amusement park and you know what to expect. And this is the unknown. So I'm going to say, I would, I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't fearful, but I I was more fearful of the, of the unknown. Um, but yeah, because I have to tell you, um, even though, and again, I'm, I'm not in a position to even say this because I didn't feel it. Um, but I will say that these types of circumstances, you know, when mother earth really, you know, lets you know, um, you know, that you're not in control of this world. And, you know, when she um, does a couple of things to kind of try to shake us off her back, um, it really is astonishing the power of nature, the power of Mother Earth. Um, and it is a real humbling moment. I think you would agree. It is. And and and, and you really are in control, you know. Um, but I'll tell you what was. Nick didn't make me feel m- maybe as more nervous as I could have been. Nick was in complete control and um, it's almost as if he had been in one, but 
he just kept it together. Uh, well, Nick is that guy. Like, yeah. you know, if we if we were on the Poseidon adventure, I would want Nick. Like, if I was in, you know, in a trench, like with bullets flying over my head, yeah, I want Nick there. I, I'm like, there with I'm you. in the major. If I'm in the middle, if I know that like there's going to be a meteor that's coming right at me and it, I can't get away from it, I want Nick next to me. Yes, I totally agree. So you know, go ahead. You were going to tell a story. Funny. Yeah, story. I want to tell a funny story. So I spent after 10.35 a.m. when this happened, <laughs> I spent the entire day with every single person that I could catch or I can, you know, I can like run toward and have them not run away from me. Ask them if they felt the earthquake. And every single person said they did. And I was really feeling pretty crappy about this angel that like I missed this like 5.0 earthquake and everybody else, you know, felt it. I felt very gypped. I almost wanted the, you know, the good Lord to shake, to give another little shake. So I get lower, or I was praying for the aftershocks so I could say that I felt something. Um, but then finally at four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm on the elevator. I'm going to go see a patient. And there was one, either one of the attendings or residents. I didn't know who, never met this person before. Um, but, you know, we were kind of looking at each other. He goes, you know, did you feel that earthquake today? And I said, I'm ashamed to say that I think I'm the only person that I've talked to today or that has texted me today that hasn't felt it. He goes, oh, thank God there's another person because I didn't feel it either. And like we became best buddies, <laughs> like in that 20 second elevator ride. And I probably wouldn't recognize him next week if I was in the elevator with him. But like for that brief like interlude, like he and I were besties. Well, listen, another colleague, don't feel bad. Another colleague of ours that's here in the office with us was in the elevator when it happened and he didn't feel anything either. So he missed go. it too. So there's going to be people that did and didn't. Well, listen, I will tell you, you know, we're going to close out this way. We may have felt the tremors. We may have felt this uncertainty and we may have felt a little bit of fear. Let's talk about what is not something to be fearful about. And that is our heavenly father. He is the person that throughout it all will always guide us to the path of righteousness. He is the person that will always put us first, just as we put him first. He is the person that will guide us to the plans of victory as he connects the dots with us until our final days when we're called home. Today, I'm asking each and every one of you to take a few minutes to pray and thank the Lord above that we have had no reports of injuries, no reports of damages. And even though on the same day that we experienced tremors, and even though we are airing this on the day of the solar eclipse, we have to remember that there are people out there that have experienced other things, just like the Baltimore Bridge, and they are still mourning the loss of loved ones. So even though we can take something like this and make it into a humorous episode, we must not rem never, must not forget there are other people that are dealing with real life situations. For that, I say thank you to the Heavenly Father, and we pray for those victims and the families uh, that are suffering and also mourning and celebrating the lives of those they lost in the Baltimore Bridge. For all of us here at Half Faith, let it begin. Enjoy your solar eclipse this morning, and uh, always remember to stay healthy. Don't look up unless you have those protected glasses and always remember to never forget have faith let it begin baby take care guys we'll see you next week thank you for listening to have faith let it begin we'll be back tomorrow thank you for listening to another episode of have faith let it begin that's right ariel we're done with another show and it's always great to have this show with you man love you know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to Half Faith for a Begin. We'll be back tomorrow.